Hello everyone, welcome to See Sweet Pretty. I'm Gazelle, I've been back with another video. Today I will be talking about the main reason of feeling insecurities in many people, which is body shaming. Nowadays, I see many people, mostly women, they are struggling with their own natural beauty and they are so insecure about their beauty, their body shape and figure. Now, I have a few questions of you if you feel the same. Is there any formula you can use to look beautiful? What is the beauty rule? Do you think we all in the world must look alike each other we all must be supermodels let me share some of my own experience and my story with you viewers when i was an infant i was roly poly i was not too choppy i was not too slim but since i started growing older especially when i was a teenager i started becoming so slim and then i i became skinny I, at my teenager it was like uh, there was no uh, attire fits my body and because of that I had to go to tailors I had to visit tailors to sew uh, outfits or dresses for me to be honest with you I was so disappointed why because of this reason people they were mocking me especially in the school I have been called lizard and you know what I was thinking they are right if they are calling me lizard just because of my body shape or because I was so skinny I was thinking yes they are right why because even even until now my veins are visible I couldn't I couldn't go to shop easily to buy any attire I want any wardrobe I was feeling so so disappointed Anywhere I was going, people were seeing me. They would take this responsibility to rob my foes on me. No matter where, first the school, then the university, even the neighbors, my relatives, my friends. And they were always, anytime they were seeing me, they were like, she was so skinny, girl. Why? I was totally healthy and I wouldn't get sick easily. But I was so disappointed. I totally understand how body shaming feels. I was truly mad at the beginning. But the one and only person who was so supportive to me, it was my mom. She was like, every time she wanted to wake me up, she was calling me supermodel. Yes, my supermodel, please wake up, you need to go to school. And I was like, she gave me this hope that something amazing is gonna happen to me if I ignore those negative people. I was feeling so good to be honest, but inside me, it was a war. A war between my mom and a big federation of negative people who are keep telling me how skinny I look, I'm a lizard, I'm not beautiful. Yeah, it was so complicated, but I was a little bit hopeful even before I come to KL uh, at the age of 24 still people were responsible to tell me how do I look and when I moved to KL even my ex-colleagues they would keep telling me guys you are you are the most slimmest one here and then you should do something but one day I met someone he told me yes wow you are so beautiful why not you why don't you try to be a model uh, because I'm sure you have this talent and you can use your talent and turn your passion into income. Have you ever thought about that? I was like, oh man, are you kidding? <laughs> look at my veins, look at my body, I'm a lizard. She said, no, you're not a lizard because you sleep, although I'm not so tall as well. He said, just because of this reason, I want you to be a model. That person, he was also a model. And I was wondering how that can happen. I was always passionate about being a model and actress. And as he inspired me, I was like, okay, let me give it a try and let's see what will happen. Maybe I was brave enough or I don't know. <laughs> 
And then since 2019, I started working as a model. I have never studied about being a model. Uh, I was just passionate. And then I tried until now to the present. Uh, I'm a model and I'm an actress. As a passionate model and actress since 2019, I have done many photography projects, pageants, um, live TV, actress, MC, and now I know, I believe I'm stepping on the right path. So you see, I did not follow any rule or any instruction to turn my insecurities into passion and show everyone how talented I am. The answer of the questions I asked you earlier to look beautiful is no. You just need to be brave, strong, and most importantly, believe in yourself and confident. Now, how to overcome on your insecurities? It's so simple and easy. All you need to do is to accept yourself as a human being and love yourself with any body shape you have. Why? Because I believe the world is more beautiful with these differences we have as human beings in nationalities, in skin color, in beliefs and body shapes. Some are slim, some are fat, someone is choppy, someone is tall, someone is short. And this is how the world is, is show itself how beautiful it is. And I don't think there's anything wrong with those differences. And look girls, I'm into this fashion industry. Please, please do not fall for this fake people, fake body shapes and fake beauties on social media. Never ever compare your own imperfections with those fake beauties. Most of them they're fake. Trust me on that. That's why when I see some directors or photographers, when they see someone looks naturally beautiful, they will be like, wow, how come? <laughs> Anything you see in their body, especially on breasts and hips, is totally fake. I believe all of you everyone in this world is beautiful the only thing is we need to accept people's taste is different what i suggest you to do please follow your own passion follow what you love and follow your own talent believe in your mind believe in yourself and believe in your heart and whatever it says never ever follow people and at the end you will get a huge regret in any skin color any style and any body shape you have you're beautiful and don't forget you are the one who were who is and who will live with you forever always always give value to yourself because you are also a supermodel so guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to share comment and subscribe our youtube channel on sis we pretty I will see you in the next video. God bless you all.